In this video, I will introduce the basic function and the concept of our Wicom soft drive. So let's begin. Here are six topics we will go through in this video, including server competition, wiring and the signal definitions, panel display operation, uh, server function, and the usage of debug tool, and the FAQ, and the troubleshooting. Uh, we console drive uh, is composed of the two parts, uh, namely the server drive and the server models. Here we talk some history about serve. The word serve derived from the ancient Greek word for slave. It means that the serve can move at our specified speed distance. Before the signal arrives, the loader is stationary. The loader rotates as soon as the signal arrives, and when the signal disappears, the loader can stop on its own time. Those of the server performance, hence the name. At present, serve has become high precision, high response speed, high performance synergy. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, front panel of the Wicom soft drive. Uh, here is the high voltage indicator. And when this indicator is lit up, it means uh, there is still remaining high voltage in the soft drive. So we shouldn't, shouldn't open or touch the soft drive. And here is the power input terminals. Uh, this is the motor output terminals, and this is the GND terminal. And here is the uh, LED panel, like most uh, soft drive in the market. And this is the RS485 COM port, uh, can support the motor bus portable. And then this is the uh, RS422 communication port. It looks like a, a LAN port, but actually it's the RS422. Uh, this port is for is used for debugging. Uh, we can connect this part with our PC, and then we can debug. debug. And this is the I/O connector, and uh, this one is the encoder connector. Uh, here's the encoder connector. Because it's a it's a ready-made uh, cable, so we don't need to solder the pin by ourselves. So we just uh, uh, have. Connect and this is the I/O connector. Here we can see AI1 and AI2. Uh, AI1 and AI2 are for the speed reference and torque reference. Both the signal ranges from minus 10 watts to 10 watts. And then here is the digital output port. This, uh, this is the signal and the pulse signal port. Uh, generally, uh, these two signals come from the PLC, so we can use PLC to control direction and the speed of the uh, server motor. Now here's the digital input. And uh, this is uh, PAO, PBO, PCO. This is the uh, so-called pulse division output. Uh, for example, when we input the signal to the soft drive, and we can get the feedback pulse from PAO, PBO, and PCO. So uh, let's, let's the function of the of the PLO, PBO, and PCO. And uh, uh, this is the uh, RJ45 port. As I just told you, it's, uh, it's uh, RS42. Uh, because most PC doesn't have a COM port, so we need to USB to RS222 converter. And then we need to con connect uh, according to this diagram. And then uh, we can debug debug the soft drive with our PC. Mm, this, uh, this is the RS485 COM port for Modbus RT protocol. And uh, here is the main circuit wiring. Uh, we can soft drive can support a single phase 220 volt main power or the three phase 220 volt main power. So far, that's not support the three phase three hundred and eighty volt main power. So we need to pay, pay attention to this. And uh, this is the LCD panel and the button. Uh, just like most of the soft drive in the market, there are uh, LED, LED display and the fire button. The first button, uh, we call it the uh, M switch. Uh, it's for switching between modes. Uh, or go back to the previous level menu. And uh, this, uh, this upper menu is for increased LED flick bit value. 
and uh, the down button is for decreased LED flicker bit value. And uh, this button uh, is for changing LED flash bit of position. And the last one is the uh, uh, end button for going to the next level menu or execute command such as storage parameter settings. Now here are some common uh, common state messages we can see in the LED. The first one is the 5.8. Uh, this message means the soft drive is in initialization state. And the second is the INIT. INIT means the initialization. It means the initialization is completed. And the third one is the RDY. RDY means the ready. It means the server drive is ready for running and wait for the server on signal from the host controller. Uh, the fourth one is the run. Run signal means the server drive is in running state. And the last one is the jog. It means the server drive is in jog running state. And here are two alarm display. display. The first one is the A-84. It means the, the uh, we need to restart the drive to make modified parameters take effect. And uh, error 34 means the motor is overloaded. And here are the uh, five monitoring, monitoring value. Mm, here you can see uh, 2000 and uh, minus 2000. Uh, it means uh, the actual, actual running speed of the served motor. Minus means the reverse direction. And uh, uh, this one means the bus voltage. Uh, it can display the uh, voltage value between driver P plus and uh, minus. And uh, this one uh, represents the level statue corresponding to the eight digital input terminals. The upper part of the, the digital uh, means, uh, uh, means uh, it's at a high level, and the lower half indicator means it's at a low level. Uh, this is, means the DI1, this is DI2, DI3, and so on. And uh, U0-19 means out, output signal state, uh, just like the above parameter. Uh, the upper part of the digital tube indicates a high level, and the lower half indicates a uh, low level. Uh, uh, this one means the uh, digital output one, uh, this one uh, digital output two, uh, and so on. Uh, here, uh, uh, we, I will show you how to uh, control in the uh, front panel. Uh, first, uh, we click uh, M button, and then we it will uh, we can see the P zero point one. It means the first parameter, parameter one. And we can use the up key to uh, switch it to the parameter two or the down button to uh, to switch from parameter two to parameter one. If we cl click the uh, end key again, we can enter the next menu to modify the to modify the value of the P one. And we we use the up, up and down button to change the value. And then we use the end key to uh, modify the, the parameter. Uh, here, here's one thing. Here's one thing we need to pay attention. Pay attention. We press the end key twice. It will bring for the first time, and the down for the second time. It means we need to press the end key for two times, and then we can change the parameter successfully. And, uh, here's another uh, another example. If we want to use the jog function, first uh, we need to access the p10.1 parameter and uh, press end key to display jog initial speed. And we use the up and down key to change the jog speed. And uh, we press the end key for two times and uh, then we change the parameter. Uh, finally, we can use the up and down key to uh, execute, execute the uh, jog, fun uh, jog operation. And here's another uh, function we often used. 
so called restore factory settings. Uh, first, we need to access the P10.2 parameter. We enter the uh, enter key and use the app key to change the, to change the value to 1. And then press end key again. And then here, uh, we need to long press the end key for 3 seconds. Uh, it will display DONE down. Uh, means uh, means we has has restored factory settings successfully. Um, and then this chapter uh, has some relevant term of the soft drive. The uh, first one is the electronic gear. Uh, it means the when soft drive so receives one partition reference, the actual actual displacement motor rotates or moves. Uh, second one is the command unit. It's the resolvable minimum value input from the host devices to the soft drive. Encode the unit. Uh, it means the value of the input command after processing by the electronic gear ratio. Uh, fre frequency division output. Uh, output the partition command pulse or the partition pulse fed back by the encoder in AB phase or socket mode. Uh, uh, this is the uh, function I told you uh, from the PAO, PBO, PCO. Uh, this is the partition complete. Partition deviation, deviation satisfies the condition set by the user. Uh, it can be considered that uh, the position is completed in the position control mode. At this time, a position complete signal can be output to the host device. Uh, this is the position proximity. The threshold is larger than the position, positioning complete set value. Uh, zero, cr zero cramp, namely zero speed cramp. In the speed control mode, when zero Cram digital input signal is valid when the speed command is less or equal to the function code setting value. The soul motor enters the zero position lock state. At this time, the position control and the speed control are invalid. It will return to zero position even, even if it, it's rotated due to external force. Uh, uh, as you may know, there are three control modes. Uh, of the soft drive. The first uh, one is the position control mode. And there is also speed control mode and torque con control mode. And we will talk the uh, position control mode at first. Position control mode is carried out according to the position command uh, f uh, from the host device, generally from the PLC. And the pulse, pulse number defines the distance, and the pulse frequency defines the speed. The, there are several uh, pulse type. Uh, the most often used is the first one, pulse plus direction. Uh, one signal for for output uh, pulse and uh, another signal for control the uh, direction signal. And uh, this is the AB phase signal. Uh, AB phase, uh, you can see here, AB phase signal has no uh, separate signal for controlling direction because uh, for AB phase it can define the direction according to the phase differential between phase A and phase B. Uh, when phase A uh, is advanced phase B by 90 degree it means the direction is positive otherwise it means the direction is negative. And uh, the third one is the clockwise and the counterclockwise. Uh, uh, this one is, uh, is not, not used so often. Uh, uh, it means that uh, when the CCW signal uh, is, is valid and the rotation direction is the reverse, and the, if the signal of a CCW is invalid, it means the rotation signal is the uh, forward direction. Uh, this picture shows the differential input volume for the partition control mode. 
uh, because it's differential input. So you can see that uh, two two are for one signal means uh pulse plus and pulse minus uh for for one signal and the uh, signal plus and signal minus for for one signal. Uh, even last four words, but there's actually two signals. Uh, one signal for pulse and one signal for uh, direction. Uh, by using the differential uh, input wiring, uh, it can increase the uh, anti-noise capability. So the, the wire can be longer and uh, it will be more stable. And uh, this this is another uh, another another kind of wiring is the open collector input. Uh, because there is no uh, twenty four volt power supply in the soft drive, so we need to use the external power supply. Uh, uh, for example, the host device is PLC, so we can use the uh, twenty four volt power supply uh, in PLC, and. Uh, we can consider this wire as the Y0 and the, this, this wire as the Y1. So Y0 control the uh, uh, direction and the Y1 uh, output the pulse to, def to control speed. Now we talk about filtering. Partition command filtering is to filter the partition command processed by the electronic gear ratio, including first order low pass filtering and the average filtering. Consider adding partition command filtering in the following three situations. First is the partition command output from the host device is not processed for acceleration and deceleration. And the second is the pulse command frequency is low. The third is the, the electronic gear ratio is 10 or larger. And from this picture, we can see that uh, the first auto filtering has the smoothest curve, so that's the least vibration for the machine. The filtering time is not as long as possible. If the filtering time is too long, the delay time will be too long and the response time will be correspondingly extended. And here, is the, here are three common loads. And for all the three common loads, we need to set different kill ratio according to the application. And now we'll talk about repetition partition mode. Partition mode digital output. And first, the uh, second partition output. Uh, signal is the partition deviation. It's equal to the partition instruction minus partition feedback. Second digital output signal is the partition complete. Uh, when the partition deviation is less than the partition partitioning completed function code setting, and the, the partitioning is regarded as completed. Uh, in this, in this, at this time, it will output the partitioning completed signal to the host device. The third one is partition closed. Uh, when the partition deviation is less than partitioning uh, closed threshold, and uh, it will output a partition closed signal. Now we'll talk about the speed control mode. Speed control uh, is based on the analog speed command input from host device or the internal speed command set in the server. And there are three sources for the speed control. The first is the analog input. And the second is the uh, communication. We can set value by the R485. And the third is the internal mode speed control. Uh, this function is now reserved. Uh, now we talk about uh, speed related digital output. After speed command is filtered, when the value of the server motor speed reaches uh, reach the which the rotation detection speed threshold, the motor is considered to be rotating. At this time, the digital output terminal of the server drive can output the rotation detection signal. Conversely, when the actual rotation speed doesn't reach the setting value, it's considered that the motor is not rotating. Now we talk about zero speed signal. When the actual speed of the server motor is less than a certain threshold, uh, is considered red when the server motor stops rotating. At this time, the digital output terminal of the server driver not zero speed signal. Conversely, if the actual speed of the server driver is not 
less than this value. It's considered red. We want to it's not, not add rest and the zero speed signal is invalid. And uh, in this chapter, we talk about uh, speed consistent signal. When the absolute value of the deviation between the actual speed and the speed command meet a certain threshold, it's considered that the actual speed or model has reached the set value. At this time, the digital output terminal of the subdriver can output a speed consistent signal. Conversely, if the absolute value of the deviation exceeds the threshold, the speed consistency signal is invalid. Now we talk about torque control mode. Torque Talk reference source include uh, internal talk setting. The another source is the analog input set by function code P1-7. And the talk command also have filtering setting. In talk mode, the server drive could run smoother by low pass filtering, which also reduce the vibration of the server motor. Uh, in this picture, we can see that the first auto fil filtering makes the uh, makes the curve more sm smoother. The debugging software running PC is used for the parameter adjust and the setting may include the following functions. Function code reading the settings, monitoring parameters, debugging interface for on-site trial operation and the parameter settings. View from Windows provide for channel real-time display for easy debugging. And uh, so far, this tool has only Chinese interface. We will add English interface in the near future. Uh, this is the interface of the uh, uh, debug tool. Uh, here is the function uh, area. We can choose different function in this part. And uh, here is the communication part. We can choose different com communication part. And this is the state two bar. And uh, the green area is the main Windows workspace. You can change the parameter value here. And uh, here we need to first we need to select the component first and then cl click the connect device button. Uh, and then we click this read parameter button, it will pop up window read successfully. And then we can see the windows in the uh, in the list. If we double click the item, we can change the change the value. Uh, after changing the parameter, we can change uh, we can click this button to download the parameter to the soft drive. In the monitoring interface, we can set the refresh interval. For example, we set it as uh, 500 millimeters. And uh, we can also execute the manual operation. We we can set the uh, RPM here and uh, the ma maximum RPM and the revolution we want to move in the direction. And then we click the server on button and then uh, the motor can start to move. And uh, here is uh, another function, we call it the initial recognition. And first, uh, we need to make sure the server travel range is up to 20. Thousand, uh, namely two circles, and uh, we click the start button, uh, start recognition button. When the recognition is completed, click yes to write the arguments to the EP long. Uh, here we can see the initial ratio. And uh, next, uh, uh, we can uh, measure the parameters. Uh, of the server, like the uh, position loop, loop gain, speed loop gain, and the uh, rigidity, and so on. And uh, here we can see all the major parameters. Uh, and, and we can click save to save the rigidity parameter. And uh, here's the view from windows. Uh, you can see there are uh, four channels here, and we can define different function for each channel. For example, real time speed, and uh, talk, and uh, uh, addition devi deviation. And here, uh, we can save data or save as. 
or take a snapshot. And here, here uh, we can select the position control mode, the speed control mode, or the torque control mode. And this is the fault quality windows. Uh, we can see all the windows are aligned here, uh, and easy uh, to troubleshooting. Now we talk about FAQ and the troubleshooting. The first question is: the PC cannot communicate with the server. In this case, we need to confirm the wiring is correct, and uh, also check the uh, driver. If the driver is not in installed properly, and uh, the communication will fail. And then last, we check the power selection. If the model cannot run, first we need to view the panel, uh, check if the rest in the line in the LED display. And second, we try to use manual mode to run the model. Third, we check the control mode and the command source. Last, we check the wiring, such as SON, uh, POT, MOT. Uh, the third point is about some common malfunction. Uh, for example, the bus is under voltage. Uh, in this case, we need to check if the input voltage of the server is proper. And the encoder issue, uh, generally, we need to check the encoder line, and sometimes we need to re replace the encoder line. And uh, the motor power line, sometimes the motor power line will be loose, so we need to tighten it, or sometimes we need to replace the power line. And the motor overload, in this case, we need to check whether the load of motor is too large. Check the deceleration time. Use the debug tool to observe the actual torque. See if less of shoot. Function code exception. In this case, we, we can restore to factory reset to eliminate failure. And uh, uh, here are another four point comma uh, question. The protection Protecting rating of the server motor is IP65, the server drive is not. And the function of virtual input terminal, for example, when virtual digital input 1 is enabled in the server, is equal to we give a valid signal to the physical input terminal, DI1. The default function of DI1 is server on. Uh, then we can make it without connecting physical wire to DI1. Uh, the sixth point, when server on signal is valid, the jack operation in the LED panel will be disabled. We need to disable the server on signal at first. And the last point, uh, CN3 and CN4 can be used at, at the same time. That's no problem. So thank you for watching this video.